Welcome to this tutorial on getting started with TPU development. Today we'll explore how to work with Google Cloud Platform's Cloud TPU offering. TPUs, or Tensor Processing Units, are special hardware accelerators designed specifically for running machine learning workloads. If you've been wondering how to make the most of these powerful tools, you're in the right place. There are two main approaches to working with TPUs, and we'll cover both of them. The first and simplest way is to use Google Colab, where you can run your notebook directly on TPU accelerators. The second approach involves using cloud TPUs through Google Cloud's Compute Engine service, which offers more flexibility and options. Let's start with the easier option, Google Colab. When you create a new notebook in Colab, you can change your runtime settings to use TPUs. At the time of this recording, you'll find two TPU options available. The first option uses version 2 TPUs, and with this choice, you get access to a small pod of 8 TPU chips. If you prefer something newer, you can select the V5e option, though this only gives you one TPU chip. While these options are perfect for smaller tasks, they do have limitations since they use older TPU versions and aren't very large machines. For more flexibility, let's look at the Google Cloud option. You can access this by going to the Compute Engine page and selecting the TPU section. Here you'll find many more TPU types compared to Colab. You still have access to the V2 TPUs, but in much larger configurations. Additionally, you can choose from V3, V5e, and V5p versions. Some regions even offer access to the newer V6 chips. To demonstrate this approach, let's set up a TPU VM using the V5e version with 8 TPU chips. We'll use the Ubuntu-based TPU software version, which makes development more straightforward. It's important to understand the architecture when working with TPUs, so let's take a moment to look at the documentation. The V5e documentation provides detailed specifications about the accelerators. One crucial detail is understanding how many host machines your configuration will use. This becomes especially important when you choose larger TPU configurations, as they can run across multiple host machines. In such cases, your code needs to be designed to work effectively across all the hosts. For our example, we'll keep things simple and stick with eight chips using all the default settings. Once your TPU VM is running, you can connect to it using SSH. While you can use the SSH in browser feature that Google Cloud provides, you also have the option to connect using gcloud commands if you prefer working from your own IDE. After connecting, we'll perform the same test we did in Colab by importing JAX, though we'll need to install it first. After installation, you'll see a list of eight TPU devices available to you. This means you now have eight times the computing power compared to the single chip setup we had in Colab. While this gives us much more flexibility, working directly in the terminal through SSH might not be the most comfortable way to develop. To create a more user-friendly development environment, we can install JupyterLab on the VM. Once installed, we can run a notebook server on port 8888.
For security reasons, this port isn't automatically exposed to the internet, and we want to keep it that way. Instead, we'll create a secure port forward to our VM. You can set up this port forwarding from any IDE you prefer. Let's try the Cloud Shell terminal, but following along, you'll want to run this from your local machine. After setting up the port forward, we can test it by running a preview on port 8888. To access our Jupyter environment, we'll need to use a token that we can find in the Jupyter instance logs. Once we have that token, we can log into our Jupyter environment. It looks like there's a cores issue using the web preview, so let's do a localhost approach, which is what you'll have when running on your own machine. Now we can create a new Python notebook and start working with our TPUs in a familiar environment, but with all the power of our Compute Engine VM behind it. This setup gives you the best of both worlds, the full computing power of Google Cloud TPUs combined with the familiar and user-friendly Jupyter Notebook interface that many developers prefer for machine learning work. If you'd like to support the channel, consider starting a free trial of our new design tool, which is linked in the description, and let us know what you think. We'll include a link to the diagram file in the description as well. If you have any questions, please post them in the comment section and we'll do our best to respond. Thank you very much for watching to the end and please enjoy responsibly.